Hey darlings, it's Gwen. How's it going? I'm uh, gonna give you a beautiful message today for the 20th. I'm tuning into my Archangel stack. Mm -hmm. And I uh, was sitting here thinking about my t-shirt that I'm wearing on screen. So I know my ancestors are here helping with this message today with the Archangels. Um, this is a shirt that I wear when I want to feel comfort. Yeah, comfort from good memories. This is a shirt that I had when I was a child that still fits me. And it's a um, picture of, say, a shirt that represents my, my family's restaurant that they owned in Oregon. It's a picture of the Lodge restaurant, the Italian restaurant. And where I have many beautiful, fond memories. Um, my grandmother lived next door and worked for 50 years in this place and um, I grew up there summer vacations winter vacations I don't know why that's not a little girl out in the parking lot with the dog well she had five boys so and I was the only girl granddaughter so yeah I I'm feeling nostalgia feelings today yes yeah, connecting with my ancestors through special things like this you know I don't hold on to a lot of things as I've grown spiritually you know, because some things hold emotional baggage. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, it's important for us to release and um, heal some of that connection with things, you know, and be able to let go of some things. But this is a shirt I will not let go of. I love it. And it just feel at home in it, you know. It's comfy. Cotton. And it's my, it's my heritage. It's my, it, it's what keeps me going sometimes, my family and those good memories that I have, you know, I call them secret shifters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I'm like sad or, you know, if I really am in a mind loop, um, I will shift out of it if, if I need to with a very fond memory that I have Kepley, I have keptly, I have kept safely in my heart, you know, that I can refer to. Little special memories of me and my grandma working in that restaurant together. Yeah. So, love you, Noni. So, uh, let's see what the angels have to say today. I have a red candle burning for us. Okay. Lots of passion, lots of love for you all today. Today is the 20th, so it's a two. It's about duality, right? We're integrating the dark aspects of our shadow selves. We're becoming whole. We're evolving, right? And our ancestors and angels and spirit team are helping us co-create this magical new world we're living in. And we are patient and kind to ourselves during our healing. Okay, that was four. I'm going to go with that. Flying all over the place, angels. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Raphael's coming in. Of course, he's coming in. Raphael's all about he. Raphael is the angel of um, healing, really. Like, I mean, my body hurts, and I've done all the things, you know. Like, I've eaten good today. I've meditated. I've rested. I've stretched. I've exercised. I've done the things. I've sage. And I, my body still don't feel good. It's trapped emotion or whatever it is, trauma within the body. Then I call upon Raphael. And he comes in with his green light. You only have to ask. And it's so, it's like a warm hug. But, and and he, he'll focus the energy. Like I'll put crystals on my body and I can feel that. The crystals are, are like his energy is going through the crystals into my body. It's, it's beautiful. So he's here for heart healing for you. He wants you to feel good in your body. He wants you to see the magic in the world, the magic and power within you that you can heal your heart, right? Seek out other possibilities. This is the four of Raphael or the four of cups. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. What are your emotions telling you? Feel your emotions. Your emotions are telling you so much. You can see this girl here sitting on the beach. Okay. She's got Raphael there protecting her. And there's like seashells all around her, you know, and she's kind of got her head down. 
And she's not. She's missing the butterfly because she's got her head down. You see that? Okay, there is magic all around you. Um, I could feel a sense of boredom, of stagnancy in, in the card. Um, but really, uh, once you connect with your emotions, a beautiful, and you release and you feel through them and you dig deeper into your emotion. Why, why do I feel this way? What, when do I feel this? Why is it happening? What is the pattern like that? Okay. And I don't have to feel this way anymore. This is a new me. This is my rebirth, right? The magic is all around me. I deserve goodness and love. My, I'm loving my inner child. She's a child sitting on the beach. Connect with the water again. It's a beautiful transformation. And, and Raphael and the angels are with you. This is Eight of Ariel out next. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. And so, you know, during this time where we do have a lot of restrictions per se in the world, I mean, that's really a mindset too, I think, um, a point of awareness. But we, it is time to like become a master at your craft. Like you have time, you know, in your free time and your downtime, just sit there in your doldrums. Find the magic again. What is it that your inner child loved? To, what did you do as a kid that you haven't done in so long that you love doing? Did you used to love to roller skate? Go out and roller skate. Did you skateboard? Go out and skateboard. I don't care how old you are. Your inner child wants to bring out the magic in you. There's healing in it. Study. Go back to school. Read good books. Okay, this is all programming. You're reprogramming yourself to a higher vibration, right? Uh, Ariel is about pentacle, as the pentacle suit in this deck. So this is the eight of pentacles, all right? Eights are usually about making a choice and making a different decision, moving away from a stagnant situation. Eight is, a, is the infinity symbol, is the harmony, is the, the flow, right? Okay, so we're taking care of our happy, our wants, Right? And then the Knight of Michael comes in. This is beautiful, this card. The oh. This is, could be a person. Uh, this is an air sign, by the way. Uh, the Michael suit's all about, so, this, uh, this is the sword suit and all about communication and thoughts. Okay? So this is somebody who is strong, committed, intellectual, or diligent. Could be speaking to uh, Gemini, Libra, Eric, Aquarius. Um, time to move quickly, choose logic over emotions, sudden changes. So my spirit wants you to, um, process some of your emotions because in the five D th things manifest a lot quicker. Things are moving at a faster pace. Okay. I want you to see this card. It's beautiful words. Okay. There's a lot of purple I'm seeing up in the sky. Okay. Beautiful sun, sunshine. Yeah, coming in in the distance there, okay? Some kind of person, message, email, it's coming in your life quickly. Uh-huh. There's going to be some sudden changes. I'm feeling like rabbit energy. So no when to rest, no when to move. I'm also kind of feeling like coyote energy with that too, like trust in the divine t detours, Okay. It is safe to trust at this time. You are being divinely guided. Um, the King of Raphael. These are two people coming into your life. They're, these the kings, knights. There are people coming into your life. This is the King of Cups. Okay, this is going from the Four of Cups to the King of Cups. That's a huge <laughs> metamorphosis, evolution. Okay, it is safe to trust. It is safe to trust you again. Do you hear me? If we don't have trust in ourselves, we can't trust others. It resonates deeply. Yeah. Dang it. Mm. So sometimes, hold on, let me clear that energy. so strong sometimes the emotion I don't know. 
it's from my family, my spirit, or somebody I'm connecting with. Oh my God, it's, maybe it was Rex. I don't know. I do these readings because they're for me too, you know. I am you, you are me. We heal each other, okay? I'm not afraid to cry on camera. When you feel, you feel deeply and you don't hold it back. You let it flow. The King of Cups lets it flow. It is safe to trust you again, okay? I When you make a lot of bad choices in your life and you see your pattern and you see it clearly, it, yeah, it's devastating to know you did it all to yourself. But you were coming from a different point of attraction. You were coming from a different healed aspect of yourself. And you must forgive yourself. You must let go of all of that. You know, it got you to this point right now, you know, where you know you're magical as fuck. And you can change it. You can make better choices. You can transmute your emotions. You know that you're this beautiful alchemist, right? The ability to accomplish many things at once and follow your creative passions at this time. The 5D is about that. It's a little bit overwhelming for me at times, even though I'm a Gemini and I like to do multiple things. When you are connected, source, guides, all of that, you know, with intuitive abilities like I have, it comes in fast and furious and flow. I have to take notes because I'm getting creative inspiration and create pictures that come in and whatnot. It's so... You have this ability to handle, to juggle, to be this clown and handle m multiple things, release time restraints, and just dive into your creative, dive into the things that you loved as a child and bring that magic about because there's going to be some sudden changes. I'm going to ask the animals about, pardon me as I wipe my nose, I'm going to ask the animals about this sudden changes. I want to know more about this night of Michael. Well, that just fell out the back. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. As I've been crying, you know. So it's important that you release your emotions too. Even, you know, my my emotions come out as anger a lot first. And then it transmutes into sad and tears. Like, when I get angry, I cry, you know. But I'm letting my anger have voice. Whereas I held it in so for many years, you know. And so it was like this pent up volcano eruption sometimes. <laughs> oh, they love your ancestors love you so much. I love when the otter spirit comes out. Otter spirit is just like a warm hug, like my shirt. It just is. Look at this picture. You are never alone. See the love there between family, between your soul family, between spirit and you. Yeah, you're never alone. You're co-creating with spirit. The otter is also very playful, okay? And they live in the water. We started this reading out by the water. The king of cups is by the water. <laughs> Ride a horse on the water. Go horseback riding on the water. Now oh, that sounds really fun. God, I haven't been on a horse since I was a child and one bucked me off and I was afraid of them from that point on. I have a reverence for a horse. Excuse me. I'm not afraid of them. I have a reverence for horses. Just like whales. Yeah. So you are never alone. It's card six or 42. 42 is like the number of the universe. Right. Go down that rabbit hole if you want to. 42 meaning. But it's also a six, which is about talking about connecting with your spiritual body, your spiritual spirituality again. Connecting the heart and the mind. And then card 29, which is an 11. <laughs> the giraffe. He's so sweet. See the big picture, darlings. Step back from a situation. Right? Like the giraffe has got that really tall neck. He could see the canopy of the trees, right? He could see the trunk of the tree. He could see what's going on down below, too, right? 
and we take a higher perspective on things when we can see the whole thing. Like I said, like when I was talking to you about trusting yourself again so that you can trust others, you know, um, and seeing your own patterns and recognizing it, admitting it, allowing it to be free from your body, from your emotional aura. It's baggage you don't want to carry around anymore. All right? I love you guys. If this reading resonated today, give me a thumbs up. Comment below. When you comment in the YouTube feed, that's really that really helps us. And um, share where you can in your spiritual groups online. I don't belong to a lot of them. But I know these messages need to get out. And I'm asking for my soul tribe's help. I'm not afraid to ask. It's a sign. It's not a sign of weakness. So many people are so afraid, you know. I'm looking for those connections to help our YouTube channel grow. I'm looking for our soul tribe. I'm being me so that you can see me, right? And all the weird and all the silly and all the teary and all the Gemini that I am. It's about duality. It's about integration for your evolution. I love these big words today. Thank you, Spirit. Bye.